to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing in them, to die, to sleep no more, and by to sleep, to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, tis a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream, aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contemplate, the pangs of disprised love, the insolence of office and the spurns, the patient merits of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but the dread of something after death? The undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have and fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied over with the pale cast of thought and enterprise of great pitch and moment with this regard and lose the name of action.